Moms Every Day with Amy Mastriani, brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryDay.com. Proper nutrition is very important for children, but for many, food allergies or food sensitivities can prevent children from getting their nutrients their bodies need. Dr. Christopher Chalk from Advanced Medical Rehab is here to talk about that. How are you doing, Dr. Chalk? I'm doing real good. Thanks for having well, me. Well, thanks for being here. Um, so there is a difference between food allergies and food sensitivities. Yes. Tell me what that is. Well, food, food allergies are an allergic reaction that can be life-threatening. Um, it affects you know, only about 5% of the population. So it's, it's somewhat rare. Food sensitivities, on the other hand, are much more common. They affect about 80% of the population. Okay. And they have a delayed onset of symptoms. Okay, what would be an example of a food sensitivity that's pretty common? Well, one of the most common ones that I see is uh, gluten. Mm -hmm. So we, when I test patients with the blood tests that we do, uh, I see about 50% being positive to gluten. Wow, so that uh, obviously that means a change in diet and, and everything for gluten, for if you're gluten. Yes, yes, right. and it's difficult. You actually need some guidance to, to really understand all the intricacies of sure. a gluten-free diet. Sure, it's a definitely a lifestyle change. So what kind of testing do you offer at AMR for um, food allergies and food sensitivities? Well, we do a blood test. Um, it's extremely accurate. It's 90% uh, reproducible and over 84% 80, accurate. Okay. So it's a very it's a very good test. Okay. But it also picks up other things besides gluten. So other grains can be an issue. Corn, you know, mm -hmm. dairy is a big one too. Okay. Well, let's bring up your website and uh, so people can get more information on AMR. It's amrclinic.com or for more information, check out momseveryday.com.